Hi, my name is Kirat Ahmed and I did my field replacement at Saskatchewan Health Authority in their Health Promotion and Public Health Services Department. The department focuses on improving the health choices made by individuals um, by providing them with resources and tools and also making the healthy choice the easiest choice. Using that approach, my special project focused on creating a built environment checklist with a focus on falls prevention in older adults to improve the lives of our older adults within Regina and they so they can access these facilities. So let's get started and look at some of these documents. The first thing that I created was the project charter. The project charter is a out document that outlines deadlines, stakeholders, background information, essential information as to why the project should be even initiated. This was the first time that I created it and as you can see from the comments, there was a lot that I learned about what goes into it. Moving forward, the logic model chart, the key factors chart, and the built environment literature review are all the skills that I already had from beforehand, but it was really condensing that literature review into a chart-like format that was a skill that I didn't think I would learn through my placement. So I think that was very good in learning how to really focus on important stuff. Moving forward, with all that information, we ended up creating the built environment checklist. This is the first draft that has the inside facility and the outside facility, looking at questions specific to both areas that focus specifically on falls prevention. Using that, later I created a how to use the training guide. This is essentially an idea behind is that anybody who wants to use the checklist can do so, making it user friendly. So all the questions that are there have the environmental and the biological aspect of why they're likely to cause falls and what we can do to improve them. So now that we've discussed it, let's look at some of the challenges faced. But it was really getting in touch with communities and finding facilities to audit um, this checklist where I ran into some challenges. Timing weren't working out with facilities and because we were nearing the end of the, um, the placement, this really became one of the bigger challenges that I had to face. Luckily, I was fortunate that I found a facility where the timings did work out and they, they did have a higher um, older population clientele, so that would have been very beneficial. And we decided to go and pilot the checklist there. Um, and there was really good proof that came out of it. Um, the individuals working at that facility provided me some, with some great feedback on how the checklist could be made more user friendly. They also complimented some of the pieces that were already in the checklist that they feel like are questions that definitely need to be asked and can, um, addressed. Therefore, using that feedback and already what we had, we further changed, made those changes to the checklist. So now it's in a final draft to good to go. Throughout the process, I learned a lot, from making connections, to condensing information, to making a checklist as such. All of these skills are very essential when it comes to working in health promotion. Moving forward, if I had to change anything or do something different, the first thing that I would do is find connections early on to be able to pilot the facility so then more research and feedback could be gained. But however, even with the pace that it did go at, I learned a lot of through this project. The one thing that really stood out to me was how health is not just biological. There's a lot of environmental and external factors that play a part, especially when it comes to built environments that can impact someone's health, leading to social isolation in older adults or causing them to be hospitalized because of falls. All all of these are factors that are going to impact someone's life and using that information I was able to develop a tool that is going to now be used to help mitigate through some of these challenges and I think that is a step in the right direction.